Thank you, Dora. Thank you, Lori. All right. This says the Infinity Solutions Emergency Procedures video. Okay. Um, I broke my water reactor video to make this one um, from some urging from my higher self. Okay. It's almost an intrusive emotion right now that's coming in. My crown chakra is on fire and I'm being told that I need to go over emergency procedures. Okay. Quick solutions. The quickest solution for any survival situation is to get yourself a sealable water bottle of some sort. Okay. Whether it's a Gatorade bottle, a plastic water bottle, um, anything that will keep contaminants from entering through the turf surface. Okay. The very first thing that you can do okay, is you'll have, I'm pretty sure you'll have access to ashes, okay, from burnt trees. Um, if not, you'll have the ability to burn trees or you will have access to burnt wood or charcoal. Okay. Um, any burnt wood, paper, anything like that. Um, you can burn it completely. Add about three tablespoons of this ash to a water bottle. Okay. Shake it up and drink it. Okay. You will have all of the nutrients that you need for your entire body. Okay. Um, you're, you're utilizing the, uh, all of the nutrients that, and energy that goes into the creation of that wood. Okay. And so it's already in nano form. Your body is just going to absorb the energy. Okay, and it'll pass through, and you won't have any waste, uh, any physical waste. Okay, that's emergency food. Okay, everybody will and can survive off of that. Okay, fresh water and some ashes mixed together. Okay, shaken up. You can let it sit for however long you want, if if you want to, or you can just drink it. Okay. You know, obviously you don't want to put sticks and dirt and, and things like that in there. So you're going to be very careful on what you put into your ash, okay, or how you collect your ash, all right? But in uh, dire situations where it's life or death, okay, mix it, okay? Who cares if you're drinking some dirt, all right? It's good for you. It's part of Mother Earth. It's got some nutrients in it in some way, shape, or form. Don't be afraid of it, okay? Um, the secondary setup is um, make sure that you've got some coconut oil on hand, okay? Coconut oil is very, very versatile in what we're doing. It will protect your nano coating, okay, so that you don't have to waste materials uh, when it comes to uh, nano coating uh, or making CO2, amino acids, okay, things like that. My previous video, I showed how to make the infinity devices, okay? If you make plenty of these infinity devices, you don't even have to have the outside wire that I put on there. That's just for added benefit, okay? Just an, an eight in, or a wire in the shape of an eight, okay, that's dipped in this ash water or your cold caustic will provide you with the energy that you need, okay? It's small, it's not intrusive, okay? It doesn't have to be plugged into the wall and it works off of your own personal body energy as well, okay? Works in combination with. Um, when you wear it around your neck, it's placed right above your heart chakra, okay? And the energy field that is created here is big enough to encompass your heart chakra, all right? And protect it. So it's protecting your heart, literally, with energy. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. Um, emergency things that you should have on hand, aluminum foil, uh, fresh water bottles, 
I don't recommend some of the drinking water that's out there, the bottled water. Um, but if it's the only thing you have, then go ahead and and keep it. Uh, you can counter all of the stuff that's in these water bottles simply by taking a nano coated piece of wire, okay? Cut off a small section and put it inside of the water bottle, okay? And we're gonna do that right now. Okay, about three or four inches of wire, okay? Oh, come on. Where'd you go? Okay. We're going to say that this is all nano coated and it's black like this. Okay. You can even take your health pins that are not in infinity. Okay. Not in infinity means that there are two points coming out. All right. This is an infinity because the points are tied together, okay? And it just continues the flow of energy. This is not, you can put this inside of your water bottle, okay? If you need to. Your best bet is to take a single wire, all right? Pretty thick if you've got it, you know, 14, 16, eight, whatever gauge you've got that's a little bit bigger. Cut about three or four inches off. Nano coat it until it's completely black, okay? Um, once it's done and it's you know it's uh completely black okay you can dip it or rub some coconut oil on it okay i have used this coconut oil which has got ash in it okay it's got some ganja sitting on top all right and it's just coconut oil that i've mixed in there i've even mixed some gans in this okay but once it's black okay you're going to uh coat the surface of it with coconut oil and you can let it dry or you can wipe off the excess it doesn't matter all right whatever makes you feel better okay and then you're simply going to take that wire after it's been nano coated and put it into your bottle all right the coconut oil will protect your nano coating the nano coating will absorb all of the energy that's inside of here okay all of the good energy the bad energy whatever it turns it into a structured alkaline water okay if you know anything about the human body then you would understand that uh, nothing in the human body can survive in an alkaline environment that is not part of the body okay that includes cancers diseases sickness of any kind viruses none of them can survive in your body if it's alkaline okay so Putting one of these in here is like getting medicine every day, okay? Um, every time you drink it, you're drinking structured alkaline water, which means that your body can absorb it much more efficiently, okay? It's absorbed all of the toxins out of your, your water, the fluoride, um, you know, all of the heavy metals, anything else that might be in your water will get filtered out, okay, energetic-wise. Now, it still might be colorful. You might still have iron that's floating around and then your water is kind of red, okay? Um, or brown colored or, you know, whatever. Uh, it's up to you, okay? Survival is what's happening here. You're going to decide whether or not you're going to drink it, okay? You can have the peace of mind knowing that all the pathogens and crap that's in that water, okay? Even though it's brown, okay? or discolored all of it after you know even if you set it there for you know we'll say two hours okay after two hours you should be able to get a pH tester okay and test the water of this and you should see the alkalinity change okay the pH change of this okay so keeping your 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 wire inside your water bottle okay will always make sure that you have clean fresh water that is structured alkaline which will eradicate any sicknesses that you might have all right now the benefits of copper oxide 
I'm going to switch. Okay. I'm going to screen share here. All right, previously I showed you guys how to make the CO2 kits. Okay. And we used CO2 and, uh, or we used nano coated copper, right? And we used zinc. Well, if you take two, I've got to find the picture in this mass of 2,000 here, guys, so be patient. Uh, dun, dun. It's in here somewhere. At any rate, if you were to take your two nano-coated plates and connect them, together like you did with the, the zinc and the nano coated copper and put the same salt solution in there okay you would create create a teal green nanomaterial all right and that is the copper oxide it doesn't have to be all fancy it doesn't have to be all pretty like it just needs to be made okay and the copper oxide is an antibacterial kind of a cleanser. Okay, so you can spray it in the air, um, you can spray it on a wound or something, and it will help take away the infection. It's kind of like a um, neosporin or some of those antibiotics that, that we might have floating around. Okay. So, and where did you go? Come on. I had it already selected earlier. It's being ridiculous. At any rate, I used two copper plates, two nano coated copper plates to create my to create my copper oxide. Okay. Oh, I just passed it. All right, you look at your screen. Okay, this one is all right. As you can see here in this picture, okay, we are creating a magnet. And I just used a tempered glass bowl of my wife's. I got yelled at for it. Okay. So I suggest that you guys don't use it. Learn from my, my mistakes. Okay. And at this point, you can see that there, you know, I've got these connected by a plasma battery. Okay. And one on the top is positive and the one on the bottom is negative okay and you can kind of see this little exchange of energy it's right here okay now if we complete this okay you're going to see a very familiar shape 
Okay. It's the same kind of shape that uh, the Freemasons use. Okay. But you start learning when you start seeing these shapes, what they mean, and that you're creating energy and that you're on the right track. So if you start seeing all these things, you'll, you'll uh, these different shapes that have come out. Okay. But what's happening here is that we're creating a magnet here in the middle. Okay. This is just salt water around the outside of this in this little bowl. It's a tempered glass bowl. Okay. Regular cold salt water, 10%. Um, I took those little baseball cards that you saw, um, cut them in half, and I used them as the electrodes. I made sure to try and keep the, um, the tips from entering into the salt water because that contaminates it, changes the conditions, okay? And I get the purest form of copper oxide that I've seen so far, okay? Now, there, you can do it a number of ways, I'm, I'm told. Um, you can add air bubbles to speed up this process, okay, like a, uh, like a fish aerator you know, for a fish tank. Uh, things like that because it's the air that's mixing with the neutrinos or the GANs that's creating it and turning into a copper oxide. It's the same effect that's happening to the Statue of Liberty. Okay. Um, you know, the Statue of Liberty is all copper and its natural reaction with salt water is to turn it to, to that teal blue green. Well, you can go scrape that material off of the, uh, Statue of Liberty and utilize it for energy because it's just dried copper oxide. Now we have the liquid copper oxide here. Okay, copper oxide puts uh, copper oxide acts as a disinfectant. Okay, a cleaner. Okay, it's a cleaner. It is um, an energy booster, okay? For electronics, okay? For electrical um, devices that we've got. This is what copper oxide does. Okay. Let's just do this. Nano copper plate. Okay. And it doesn't matter which end is positive or negative. Okay. But I used a plasma battery to connect these together because if I use electrons, okay, if I use a battery, uh, if I use a battery for it, then uh, the positive terminal will actually lose its nano coating, okay, and it will be attracted to the opposite pole, be attracted to the negative pole here. Okay, uh, so I used a, a plasma battery and I'm going to make one, okay, uh, also known as the Alex bead. Uh, I'm going to do that one next, okay. So and this is 10% salt. Salt with fresh water. Okay. And I always make, um, I always make two cups at a time. Okay, two cups of water, ten percent salt. I uh, use eight heaping uh, spoonfuls of uh, tablespoonfuls of salt, and then two cups of water, and mix it together. And then I take the, the liquid that's on top, that's dissolved all of it, and add it to it. And this is what I create. Okay.
you can use the same method. Okay, so you can see here, I've just got them. I use the copper tape to save the wires and hold them in place. Okay, notice the difference or the distance here. Okay. Oh my gosh, traffic is so loud today. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, but notice the distance, okay, from here, okay, here versus the distance from here to here, okay? This one is slightly closer together than it is longer, all right? So a slight rectangular shape. Keep that in mind, all right? Some people are putting their, their plates way out here on this side and one on this side, and they're expecting the magic to happen in the middle, and it doesn't, okay? You can be, you, you've got to remember that this is its own magnet, okay? And this is its own magnet. And this is where it happens in the middle, okay? So if your magnets aren't touching, okay, and you got one magnet over here and you've got one magnet over here and there's nothing happening in the middle, okay, it's going to attempt to exert more energy that it doesn't have, okay, and you end up with uh, materials like uh, plain copper, okay, that it just rips all of the nano coating off of it because it's trying to get more energy, all right. So keep in mind that you want the spacing here, okay, depending on how big your cards are, to be about the same distance as they are wide, okay? So, you know, if you've got a bigger plate, you know, and it's this wide here, then you can have this much space between it, okay? Keep it proportionate, all right? And then you will still get the magic in the middle. All right. That's a good one to remember. Now, the other thing, okay, as you can see here, I made a plasma battery. Okay. And this is making CH3. All right. Oh, come on. You can see the effects of it. All right, this is CH3. Okay, or also known as iron. Neutrino or GANS. Okay. The flavor of neutrino that we have chosen today happens to be iron, okay? We put the nano-coated copper and we put the shiny galvanized nails in here, okay? And it's creating, and you can see this little vortex of energy here, all right, based off of this. But here, oops, I can't zoom in. So right here, this is what we're going to make. All right, these are just power beads. Okay. Instead of hooking the battery up, um, I put two power beads in place. These were invented and created by a good friend of mine, Alex, a fellow light worker. This was his understanding of how the plasmatic interactions are created. Okay. Uh, all I've done here is I put two of these in series. Okay. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make them and give yourself some uh, proof of concept for the people that you want to teach. Okay.
uh, but I use this. Okay, use power beads instead of batteries. And okay. in doing so, you have the purest form of neutrinos that you can get. Okay, when you do this, when you use electrons, you're forcing a current to go through there, all right? And remember, electrons are different than the plasmatic energy that we're working with, okay? They work opposite of each other. So if electron is moving to the right, the plasma energy is moving to the left automatically, okay? That's just the way it works. Um, the devices that we build for infinity are actually built backwards so that they work in conjunction with the electronic devices that we have currently in the world that we live in uh, operating. Okay. The question that we just came up, is there any special benefits to CH3 like copper oxide is good for energy booster and, and so forth? Yes. Okay. Um, the CH3 affects the uh, the physical side of the human body, okay, the iron side, the, um, you know, as the foundation calls it, the, um, the physicality of, of mankind, okay, CH3 does that. The CO2 deals with the emotional side, okay, and the reason why we use uh, these devices is because they create a neutrino. A neutrino is basically CO2, okay? It's like a blank stem cell. It's asking what you need, what you want, and it'll replicate it, okay? Uh, that's what we're dealing with here. Uh, the CH3 affects the physical side of your body, okay? So if you want to tap into the physical side and uh, learn how uh, how to heal it, okay, how to bring it back into balance, okay, that's what we would use is the CH3, okay, or the iron scans. Um, we're using the power beads instead of batteries so that we can get a much cleaner and more pure version of these nanomaterials that we're creating, okay, and you're not always going to have batteries, okay, I'm going to go outside right now. I'm going to collect uh, a nano -coated, a couple of nano coated wires that I've got, um, and I'm going to get a leaf from outside. Okay, and I'll be back shortly. If you guys have nano coated wire, I would suggest that you get it. Um, get some a nano coated wire that's black, um, or you can actually put it uh, into your. I'm going to try it several ways um, today. I'm even going to use this uh, activated charcoal mixture okay, to see what we can come up with. Now, you need uh, some aluminum foil, uh, paper towel or tissue paper or parchment paper or um, a coffee filter, anything that's absorbent. Okay, You need that. You're going to need some caustic solution whether it's the uh, sodium hydroxide or whether it's your activated charcoal, ash water uh, with GANs, things like that, okay? You're going to need those. I'll be back shortly. It won't take me but a few minutes. And I'll pull my video back up, and we'll make one of these power beads or several of these power beads, and you'll be able to uh, see an energy output right then and there. All right. I'll be back shortly, guys.
Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. Got a coughing fit. All right. Oh, come on. Work with me here. All right. So I have gathered. Uh, this is uh, hibiscus leaf. Okay. I just have a plant sitting right outside of my door here. Got some aluminum foil pieces. Okay. I have some plain copper wire that has not been nano coated yet. All right. I used um, extension cord wires. Okay. I opened up the extension cords and I cleared off the ends of the wires. Okay. And I tell you, that's a, a huge tasking by itself. But that's what I was using for these when I first made them. So I'm going to use them today. Um, I have some of the original ones, okay, that are nano coated. And I'm just used my spray caustic and put them in a Coke bottle, sealed it up, and let it sit there. And they all turned black and shiny, and they've just kind of been sitting here. All right. So now I've got a purpose for them. I'm going to dip these plain copper ones into my ash water and two of them in my ash water. Okay. And then I'm going to dip two of them in the caustic. Okay. And not going to seal it up. I'm just going to dip them in the caustic and then I'm going to wrap my leaves around it. Okay. Like I said, all you need is a leaf. Okay. I grabbed the two worst leaves possible. Okay. You can use dry leaves. You can use um, any kind of leaves that you want, any kind of plant material, really. Okay. Um, I bought some strawberries and some grapes so that I could try an experiment with them, but they disappeared before I could finish my experiment. So... Um, <laughs> Now, all we're doing here, okay, you can see how small these pieces of foil are. I made a whole bunch of these when I first started doing the power beads because I was so excited. Alex did a wonderful job. Okay, I also brought this thing. Okay, this was dipped in copper oxide. Or no, this was dipped in CO2. All right, after it was nano coated and then just left to dry. And you can see that it created this kind of a really deep blue copper oxide color, okay? And so that's what we're, uh, we're working with here, all right? I didn't do anything else, I just dipped it, all right? And then I let it sit out in the air and this is what happens to it. Now, it's just twisted together like a health pig, okay? That's all this is. And I'm gonna try one of these power bead setups with that one after it's already coated so that we can do a demonstration here, okay? Update on this, okay, is that it's already starting to change color, okay? It's, it'll take a few hours for this, all right? If you don't have any caustic or whatever and you need to nano coat it, Okay, you can put this over the fire or you can put this over a stove. Okay, as long as it all turns gold colored at the same time, you take it off of the heat after it's turned gold color. All right, let it cool down for about 30 to 45 seconds and then put it back on the heat. Okay, and it'll turn gold again and then afterwards it'll, it'll start to turn gray and then a darker color. Okay. And I don't know if you can tell the color there, okay? But it started out as orange because that's the color of the caustic, and now it's turned to a green blue, okay? Update on that. Now, 
I'm going to tell you that this form or this way of making batteries, okay, is the most primitive plasmatic form that you can make. And I say primitive because you're still taking life for your own gain, okay? Because we don't have any other options, okay? You're still taking life because you're using a leaf, all right? It's still alive. If you choose to use a leaf that is dead or whatever, okay, you can just take a little tiny bit of your caustic solution, the chemical stuff that you've made, okay? Take about two or three drops, okay? And add it to a little bowl of water, all right? That does the same exact thing as adding charcoal to water, um, all of that kind of stuff. It activates the nano coating on the surface, okay? The aluminum foil is your battery, okay? It's giving away the excess electrons, okay? That allow the energy to move, all right? It's creating the imbalance. So, I'm going to take this, okay? See how long this is? This is about, I don't know, four inches maybe, okay? And I'm going to change or bend this end over, okay? So now the energy flow is going back into itself just like a health pin, okay? So now you can see that, all right? Now, I just have this as a gauge, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna use this entire half here, okay, to put my leaf on, all right? And the aluminum foil, all right? I'm gonna leave this a little extra, all right? I'm gonna do that to two of these because I'm gonna make two, two of these little uh, batteries okay these are important okay because you can do them anywhere and you can make them anywhere as long as you've got leaves okay and all i'm doing here is going to shape the leaf all right so that you can utilize it. Okay. In this case, um, I need to make room here. I need a bigger desk, guys. Um, to show this part. You can only use containers that are so small. You got big hands. All right. So all I've done here is this is just activated charcoal and water, okay, tap water, nothing special. Uh, I did put some GANs in here, um, you know, that I made. Um, Let's see, I put some diatomaceous earth inside of this and mixed it up, okay? And so it's got all of the requirements needed, okay? Now, you're just going to take your leaf, okay? Dip it, cover it completely to both sides. and wrap your leaf, okay. Just like you would if you're using parchment paper or anything else, okay. When you use a live leaf, okay, you are actually utilizing the GANS energy, okay, that is trapped inside the leaf, okay, where all the sunlight stores the energy. 
I'm smashing it onto this wire because I want that liquid. Okay, I want that energy to be released. Okay. Now, my aluminum foil here is not big enough for this particular project. So, I need to get some more. And you can see just how much they're using. You know, out of a 300 foot roll, okay. We'll fold this one in half. I like to put the shiny side out. It doesn't matter. Okay. Some people or some foil does have a coating on one side. Okay. But I'm also going to dip that in the water. Okay. That's activating your nanomaterial on the surface. Okay. Now they're all speaking the same language. Come on now. Leaves can be difficult to work with, okay? But oh, I forgot my paper towel. Dang, damn it. All right, we're just going to do the same thing. Dip it. And this leaf is really irritating me. It doesn't want to cooperate, but so now you just use the leaf as your gains. All right. Remember, dipped. Okay. And again, you see me pinch and I twist to shape the aluminum. It's not really twisting the aluminum, but it's just shaping it. All right, so now I have all of that making a mess everywhere. All right, so we've just used a leaf. And some ash. Uh, activated charcoal water. We're going to put the voltage. Let me see if you guys can. This. Can you read that, guys? The blue in the middle is just uh, insulation from the uh, the wire, okay, from the extension cord. Can you read this? Okay. If we can 
Better. Ah, I can't read. It is better now since I moved it. I can't read it. Somebody talk. I need somebody to get on the microphone and talk to me. I cannot read the chat right now. It's a little bright. It's too bright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me when yes or no. Yes. Okay. So I need to bring it up even further than that. Better? Yes, it's better. Right there, right there. All right. So you can see this stuff. All right. It's set on 12 volts. Thank you very much. It's set on 12 volts. It should zero out once I touch the ends together. Okay. I can't see it, but it should zero out completely. There we go. Okay. The aluminum foil, all right, is your negative. Oh, come on. All right. Yeah. That being said, this is the battery we just made. Okay. I zeroed it out. You can see the energy fields that we're picking up here. Okay. And my unit, all right, is probably nano coated because I've been doing this a lot. So you're seeing, you're picking up what it's trying to do is pick up the energy fields. Okay. These are my fingers. This is my own personal energy that's being read here. Okay. Now, again, we're going to zero back out. Or not. There we go. All right. Negative to your aluminum foil. Okay. And you can see a 0 0.5, 0 0.6, I think. I can't read that. Yeah. 0.6. That's a half a volt, people. Okay. That's 6.18 volts. Okay, or whatever it keeps jumping to there. 0.6. That's a little over half a volt. All right. And so you increase this. All right. I don't believe that there's going to be any amperage. All right, well, we can always check. Okay, again, touching the wires. Okay. I can sit here and I tap it like maybe 10 times and I'll hold it for about 10 seconds. Okay, sometimes it'll generate its own current or change polarity. So you have a polarity jumped up there okay you see the negative polarity drop up that's how you know that this is working it may not read anything but you have a nano current running through this device okay and by doing so doing this right here okay touching these okay you're creating a direction of flow all right since we want it to work with electronic devices, we have the red terminal here, okay? This is your output, okay? 
this is your source side and it will come together right here okay so we're going to take another and we're going to make another one of these okay so you saw that this one right here produced a half a volt okay so what happens when you combine them well what happens when you put double a batteries together okay and you put them and you and you uh, put them in your headphones or your Walkman or, or things like that, okay? You're increasing the energy, and that's what we're going to do here is we're going to make another one, and we're going to increase the energy so that you guys can see it, okay? And we're going to do it the same exact way that we just did. Okay? Difference is you're not going to see me. dip all my stuff that's the only difference okay. every time you cut scissors or cut aluminum foil with scissors you um you sharpen your scissors too and then finding that out with zinc okay. Again. All right, so all three, four of our parts are, are nano-cutted, okay? We're gonna start with the leaf. And it gets easier as you get practice, okay? I don't know if there's a difference on which side of the leaf to use or, or whatever, okay? If there is, great. I'm sure somebody will figure it out. Okay. This is just emergency procedures. You can make 12 of these or 28 of these and you'll create a, if it doesn't fall out in the middle, you can create 12 volts, okay? and run your car. Now, there are different ways that you can do this kind of stuff. You can make a GANS paste or a neutrino paste. Okay, we're not getting into all that stuff. Okay, we're just making a power bead so that you can create energy anywhere, anytime, utilizing these materials. Okay. This is the cleanest spot in my workshop, right here. <laughs> okay, so now we've done the same exact thing. All right, we've created another power bead, right? And again, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. See if we can learn from what we did before. Even if we don't like our current setup. Okay. Again, going to 12 volts. Did you put a loop in that second one at the end? Yes. Did you bend it? Okay. Yep, they're both bent at the end. Okay. This one you can see there, and this one's poking out a little bit there. All right, so they both have it. All right, and again, we'll zero it out. Again, I said zero it out. You're not zero. There we go. Okay, negative tin foil.
You see how it's just jumping all over the place. Okay. Does help if you touch the wire. All right. 437 millivolts or just under half a volt. So the first one was 0.6, right? So we have 0.6, give or take. Okay, if it was to decide that it was going to settle down. All right, so you have 0.6 and 0.4, all right, which is equal about a total of a volt, all right? So to connect these in series, okay, and I don't want to move this thing because I need it. To connect them in series though, okay, all you got to do is wrap your nano coated wire around one of the aluminum foil of the other. Okay. If you know anything about the split capacitors and, and things like that, you're doing the same thing. You're just making capacitor right here. Okay. And so now you've got two power beads that are connected together. Okay. Then you're going to zero it out. Okay. I said zero. Thank you. Negative and positive. Okay. And now you can see that it jumps all the way up to a volt. 1.11. Okay. 11.11. Let's see pop up several times. Okay. So now you've just created 1.3, 1.13 volts. All right, a pure free energy. Okay, let's see now if we have the milliamps. This is with just two power beads. You see the polarity jump again. Okay, I'm going to hold it here. All right, still not enough to create any amps, but you can see the negative polarity start. Okay. Um, you can make four or five of these power beads. Okay. Six, eight, 12. You can make as many as you want. All right. The more you add together, the higher your output is going to be. Okay. But I use these inside of my GANs making uh, bowls. Okay. That's what I'm using. Instead of using, uh, you know, like on my CO or my lead oxide, I used uh, three volt batteries because I wanted to try um, the snap circuit setup that I've got. Okay. So I utilize that one. Um, but when you, the picture that you saw with my CH3, okay, I was using plasma batteries, all right? And if you use a GANS paste, okay, as long as the leaves stay dry or stay moist inside of here, you'll still get charge and power off of this, okay? You can make as many as you want and you can reuse the, the nano-coated wire, okay? Um, they're still working on solutions to make these permanent, Okay, uh, so that they can be utilized all the time. Uh, so live and learn. Okay, this is power right here. This is your free electricity that you can have in your home. Um, what are you going to do with it, guys? Okay, but that's how you make these little power beads. Okay, and I think that's going to uh, close up the special edition right here of how to uh, survive in an emergency, okay? We've talked about your food, okay? That's um, consuming about three teaspoons or, you know, even tablespoons of some ash mixed with fresh water, okay? Putting a nano-coated wire inside of your water bottle, using copper oxide to clean off wounds and disinfect things and areas. Um, making infinity devices using 
specific uh, caustic solutions, okay, for a very specific effect. Um, so please utilize these, share these videos. Uh, they're going to help the world, all right, uh, in a time of need. So as long as you've got these and you have an understanding, I think you're going to be okay, all right? You're being protected by the light. Another thing, those of you that are familiar with uh, nanomaterials and, you know, the Keshe Foundation or the Infinity Project or working with plasma in general, okay? The stuff that we're working with is true alchemy of the universe, okay? It cannot be uh, patented. It can't be taken from you. Once you know this knowledge, it's available, available to you planet-wide, okay? Um, if you don't have a 100% lie, boil some wood ash and water, okay? You're creating that lie. Boil the water away, and the dust that's left over is that 100% lie. Okay? Um, you know, so don't think that you can't do this stuff. For those that live on the coastlines, you need to move above 5,000 feet or put a base camp that's above 5,000 feet. Okay? At your base camp, if you've got it or you have the means for it, you need to put copper wire or copper tape, some zinc. Okay, um, you can put a box of shiny nails up there for your uh, uh, your iron gans. Okay, if you've got zinc and iron, okay, and you've got your copper, you can do everything that you need to do. All right, collect up your salt or your fresh water. If you live near the ocean, you can even store some salt water. Make some sea gans. Okay. I don't particularly have salt water here, so I cannot make sea gans for you uh, right off the bat. It takes money. It's about three hours, four hour drive down to the coast. And, uh, you know, it takes time, it takes money, and it takes energy to get there. Okay. If I'm going to go, I want to stay the night so I can create a lot of it, you know. Um, but I'll be able to, to stream live from uh, Galveston or, you know, wherever I'm going. Uh, The decontamination of your water, okay, especially salt water, um, to remove all radiation, toxins, things like that, you need uh, the super hot caustic, like I showed, on how to make your custom caustic, okay? You don't add any of the supplements to it. You just add the sodium hydroxide and the potassium hydroxide to it, okay? Um, and then you take two teaspoons, okay, two teaspoons tiny amount and put them uh, put that inside your gallon of seawater okay and you'll see the mixture happen right away um, when that happens we will uh, you'll be able to utilize ocean water for all of your food needs okay physical or otherwise and uh, you know as we absorb our energies more and more, Okay, we will learn how to uh, to deal with all of the extra food and things like that that we've got. Okay, um, remember, do not spray CO2, okay, or energized water on any fruits or vegetables that have already been picked. Okay, um, it speeds up the ripening process as well as the decomposition process. Um, if you uh, have fruits and vegetables and you've got extra copper wire, you can um, make a shelf, okay, uh, with aluminum foil or a metal shelf of some sort and attach your copper wire to the ground, okay, and put your, your food on that metal surface, okay? And if you attach the, uh, the wire to the earth, all right, then it acts like it's still on the branch, okay, of whatever fruit you've picked, okay? Your uh, tomatoes will stay fresher longer, your oranges, your fruits, anything else that you have uh, picked or bought from the grocery store or whatever, okay? If it's completely grounded, then 
it'll act like it's still growing on the tree, okay? And it won't activate the decomposition um, methods that are, that are present inside the fruits and the vegetables. I'm really tired of this fly. I'm gonna get him. Um, but learn the power beads, okay? Don't be afraid to uh, adapt them and work with them, okay? Uh, it's the same concepts. Okay, layers, guys. I used a multi-strand uh, electrical cord wire. All right, I cut them up into four-inch pieces. I stripped every wire. Okay, it's going to take some work. You're going to get stabbed. You're going to bleed. Okay, it happens. But this is what's going to save your life. All right, what's coming down in my brain right now is some sort of a EMP style of, of attack. All right, it's going to knock out the power grid because that's going to be the most destructive versus any kind of sickness. Okay, um, an EMP, electromagnetic pulse, does not affect plasma. It only affects electronic devices. Okay, so wherever you're affected by this EMP blast, your computers are going to fry, your internet hubs are going to fry, your cars are going to fry, your refrigerators are going to fry. Everything in your home is going to fry, okay? And it will cease to exist and operate. And that's the biggest threat that we've got right now is an EMP attack. And they've done more than just, um, you know, tell us exactly what they're going to do. There's a little, uh, uh, there was an article, I think, on Fox that I read. There was another one, you know, and they're all talking about this EMP, and they detailed exactly how to make it. They detailed how high you had to detonate it um, to get the most effective, you know, uh, I mean, it, all the information is there, okay? They gave them the instructions online, and that's not right. And the way that we can counter this is to have plasmatic devices, okay? Also, if you spray your house with CO2 GANS water, okay, the energized water or even GANS, spray the outside of it, inside and out, um, you create a protective field or a little bubble around you that will also protect you and your your devices and stuff like that. I'm not a hundred percent positive on this, but my my brain is telling me that it'll protect you from an EMP. Um, you know, as long as you've got one of these IQ units or a MagRev unit that has been running and helping the nano coding. All right, uh, I'm still working on this battery power pack or power station okay. when I'm done you can see that it's been glued all right I still have to attach this okay the positive and the negatives and run it to the uh, power inverter itself so now I'm getting the gravitational and the magnetical I'm still working on it guys okay ideas are coming to me um, this is more important right now than the water reactor. Um, I also believe that it has to, um, it's going to power the water reactor. So uh, everything would be completely off grid. And uh, we're working on that. Uh, I need you guys' help. I need your support. Okay, I've got about a $300 budget for myself um, that I allow to do all of this. And it's gone in the first couple of three days. Okay, and I buy all of the things that I need. Okay, if you want to make a donation so that I can, you know, purchase it, think about it this way. All right, 20 bucks or $25 will get me a roll of 200 feet of 18 AWG wire. Okay, about $25. It's like 21 something. Okay, $25 will get me a roll of copper wire. Okay, uh, I always purchase things uh, on the cheapest side possible when I find them. Okay, these are induction coils for uh, wireless charging. Okay, that have little computer chips. Okay, it has the in and an out. I got these. These are almost four dollars a piece. Okay, and I bought four of them, so I don't waste any money. All right, I'm a very frugal shopper. Uh, when it comes to these things, okay? Uh, I would suggest that you purchase 
um, at least one power inverter for your car, okay? That is a high recommendation, okay? Because now you can take your device, okay, and protect your car, okay? Now your car still moves, um, but you can also take that device and, and move it from your car, unplug it from here, and plug it into your home, okay? And that's why I suggest using a power inverter instead of a direct connect to your, uh, your car, okay? That's for people that can only afford one setup at a time, all right? Um, showed you how to make the CO2 already. Showed you my lead GANs. I showed you the copper oxide and the CH3. Um, I showed you the infinity. I showed you how to make the power beads. I believe that's all for now, okay? Um, remember that about a four inch piece of wire that's been nano coated in the bottom of your water bottle, all right, will neutralize all of the chemicals and the energy that's inside of the water, making it completely alkaline, okay? Uh, so keep that in mind as well. If you wish to make a donation, you can make a donation by PayPal using my email of mjnguardian, G-U-A-R-D-I-A-N, at gmail.com, okay? You know, every little bit helps. Um, it's just a, donate, a donation into, um, the research into this, okay, to help get this information out further. Uh, today, I'm having my internet upgraded at my own expense. Um, I had to rent this laptop, you know, so that I could get videos for you guys. You know, I've got programs out there that cost on a monthly basis that I can't afford, okay? And I'm assuming that you guys are going to want to help me as much as you can, even if it's 10 or $15 at a time. Every little bit helps, you know? If 100 people donated $15, then that's $1,500, guys, okay? And I can do a lot with that. Um, you know, I purchased all of the generators that are out here. I'm just not ready to listen to them uh, for a month at a time. Uh, you know, those kinds of things, okay? If you make a donation, don't send me an email saying, oh, I want a health pen in place of this $50 donation, okay? That's not how I work. It's just me here. Right. If I tried to give everybody a health pin, you know, that donated 10 bucks, then, you know, I would if I had the people. But I live out here in East Texas. Um, they're not exactly the most friendly people when it comes to um, things that question their belief system. OK. And it's not their fault. This is the way they're growing up. And I understand it. Um, you know, it doesn't make me any better. It doesn't, you know, whatever. I'm just an awake person. and and a sleepy environment and uh, you know every little bit helps okay uh, once I get a, enough funds and I can get a good video program uh, for this laptop that's simple to use I'll put together a program or a video that I can put on for a GoFundMe account that we can do a little bit more nationwide okay and this will all be um, peer supported Okay, you guys will all figure out how uh, to do this, and I will continue to teach. My knowledge is free uh, for me to teach you. It's all this other stuff that you guys need, you know, in order for me to explain it. I need the tools, and you guys are helping me to create these tools. And, you know, as we move along and we evolve, okay, with our knowledge, we go into a lot more complicated designs, okay? Let me rephrase that, more complex designs. They're not complicated because it's all made the same exact way. It's just repeated over and over again, okay? So this is what we're working with here, guys. Are there any questions from a group before we end the recording?
All right, Lori is good. Dora, how are you? You have any questions? Any survival questions? Anything relating to what you can and can't use? Anything like that? All right, go ahead and push stop on your record. Thank you, ladies.